Okay, we're back with the third and final match of the first week. 5v5 at ships. Uh, my current opponent is mblack89 from the guild uh, Shadow Wolves. Um, got a decent uh, general Skywalker team, but uh, what really caught my eye was his uh, his fleet. He's got the uh, negoti he's got the uh, malevolence fully maxed out, seven stars uh, with the seven star Haina bomber and vulture droid. That is going to be a pretty impressive uh, fleet to uh, to go after. I really hope he keeps that on defense because I have my own 5-star Malevolence and I've been practicing against another 7-star Malevolence in my fleet. So I want to be, uh, I want to see how uh, how effective uh, that mirror battle would be. Um, but something tells me that he's probably not going to keep uh, the Malevolence on defense given that he'll have uh, nothing else to take out my, uh, my General Skywalker Negotiator. Because he doesn't have his own negotiator, and uh, I think his rebels are also not uh, not that great. Uh, yeah, only G11 uh, Biston and uh, SRP. All right, so um, most probably we won't see the malevolence, but uh, if we do, then uh, then that'll be great. Otherwise, uh, he's got some uh, some pretty decent characters. Not that many relics as I would have expected. Um, he's about 5.25 uh, GP million GP, which is about the same as me. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and uh, enter the battle and check out the defenses first before we move on to offense. Um, I kept more or less the same teams. I just moved a few uh, teams around uh, in terms of placement on the board. I had my Skywalker up above with uh, Night Sisters over here, not keeping Night Sisters at the back. And then I kept a, a third uh, relatively weak team. Uh, it's a dot based team with, with Vader lead. Uh, shouldn't be a problem for my opponent. Um, and down here, I kept uh, my Darth Revan, hoping uh, that uh, you know a good team gets taken out against that. And then uh, uh, a reasonably tricky team with the Pre-Taunter, Newt uh, lead uh, Separatist with the Pre-Taunter, and Nest. Um, so I'm hoping he takes uh, CLS or, uh, or something heavy against that. And then at the back, I've kept uh, my Grievous squad and then uh, a JTR squad as well. Um, both of them should be uh, banner stealing. And of course, I've kept my, my Kenobi out here. Now, uh, one change that I made to my Kenobi fleet is I, instead of fives, I kept uh, Ahsoka in there in the starting lineup. Primarily because if you go with Malevolence, uh, having Ahsoka facing a, a Kenobi fleet with Ahsoka in the front makes it a little more difficult, a little more tricky than if you uh, go in with fives. Because what happens is uh, when you take a Malevolence against a, a negotiator fleet with fives, fives is going to attack Vulture Droid first since it's the weakest ship and uh, give it turn meter and then the Vulture Droid can go ahead and uh, attack uh, Anakin and put uh, put uh, put uh, buzz droids out there. So it makes the battle a little easier because it gives the chance for Anakin ship to get uh, Vulture dro buzz droids and uh, and get taken down a little easier. So this version with the with snips I think is slightly more trickier for Malevolence. So in case he keeps Malevolence on offense I'm hoping he finds it a little tricky over there. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, the defenses that my opponent has set. Um, has uh, gone with a Grievous squad with Watt in there, so that's going to be a little tricky, especially with R7 Grievous with R6 B2 uh, B1. So that's uh, that's going to be pretty uh, pretty uh, um, tricky to take out. 155k health on Grievous as well. <clears throat> Then we've got a Geo squad, um, three of them relicked up, and uh, surprisingly, uh, Spy is not relicked up, which is uh, very uh, strange to see. Usually, the second character after uh, uh, GBA who's relicked up is usually Spy, but he's given four or five relic levels to the other characters, but not Spy. Um, and then we have a very weak bounty hunter team uh, with only uh, with only Bosk, who's got uh, who's above G12. Um, so I could use troopers for that, I guess. And then over here you've got a relatively weak Night Sister team with a very tanky Daka though. Look at that, 138k health on Daka. Um, and uh, we've got the uh, um, we've got a Karth team um, with the L3. So I'm going to go down here, uh, take care of this team first before we uh, we decide what uh, our approach for the top is going to be. Um, and for uh, let's see, for the uh, let's start with the Karth team. I think I'm going to go in with my um, my Geos for the Karth team. 
and because uh, we've got a couple of tanks in there, I want to be able to uh, uh, take care of these guys pretty effectively. All right, uh, let me see if I can't take out a mission, or at least ability blocker. Okay, let's apply tenacity down and dispel this. Okay. And uh, hopefully, I think this should take care of uh, L3. There we go. Should dispel him. Okay. Now let's uh, let's go after uh, Karth and uh, see if we can't take him down. There we go. And uh, let's uh, let's attack uh, Mission. There, she's gone. All right. Now uh, I think let's finish off uh, Candrus before we um, before we uh, yes. So Candrus is done. Now I think we've got a heal also ready. So let's go and heal everyone up so that we end with sixty. And this is a G eleven uh, um, Zalbar, so it shouldn't be much of an issue taking him down. Even if he gets stacking tenacity, stacking defense, uh, it's a pretty straightforward sixty over here. All right. So this was a good outcome. Let's uh, let's take uh, something good against Night Sisters as well to get sixty, and then move on to see what's at the back. So I have enough offense left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my my bounty hunters against them, uh, the Night Sisters, um, just because of the Daka is extremely tanky. I don't want to see. I, I don't want to take my Womp or anyone else in there just because in case Plague gets out of hand with the Daka doing all those revives, I don't want it to be. Uh, Troublesome. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and taunt over here, um, and uh, let's see. Let's lay down some burning. The zombie is extremely weak, only 20k health. Okay, so plague is out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some healing done so that uh, we uh, get rid of the plague. And now, what I'm going to do is try to get rid of uh, Mother Talzin. There we go. So no more plague. Now we just need to uh, be able to um, be able to get some health and protection back, and then we should be good. So two characters have been um, eliminated, and they're not going to come back. Let's taunt again. Yep, they're not going to come back. Uh, I'm going to try to get rid of uh, Asajj, but I want to do it with Django. All right, let's see if we can't get rid of her. Not yet. Um, all right, I think this should get rid of uh, Asajj. There we go. Okay, so Boba has done a decent job. Now I'm going to go after the zombie, get a couple of uh, deaths out there. And uh, hopefully be able to recover some health and protection. Not yet. Okay. Daka won't be able to do any harm. She won't be able to revive anyone. And uh, and she definitely won't be able to uh, uh, cause much damage. So I'm just going to go and, uh, and get Daka down bit by bit. And at the same time trying to maintain as many banners as I can. Uh, let me try to ability block Daka. There, you see how tanky she is? Okay, now I think we can start working on Daka. There we go. I think she uh, survived, but uh, she got a turn and she died with thermals, which is why she didn't come back. Um, anyway, I think we are at full health and full protection, so that's another 60 from the front zone. And let's go see what's at the back. All right, look, he looks like he's got a Hux-led uh, First Order team with relics on three of them and a Newt, bounty, a Newt uh, Separatist uh, droid with Nest team. Okay, so it looks like the toughest team out here is going to be the Grievous Squad. Um, so I'm going to give it a few uh, few hours, see, uh, make my plan for attack for the rest of the characters remaining and see if my opponent has a chance to go and then come back and... Uh, proceed further so catch you guys in a bit all right so I decided to go ahead and uh, 
attack my opponent even though he hasn't had a chance to go. Uh, I'll probably clear the board, uh, put some uh, points on the board, put some pressure on him so that, uh, you know, he'll be forced to make some mistakes, hopefully. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I think the toughest team is definitely going to be the Grievous squad with Watt. So I'm going to go in with my with my uh, Jedi Knight Revan team and try to take it out. In case I have to clean up, I have a few other good squads uh, that I can use. But I think this one should be uh, should be more than enough if I play it right. Watt's going to put the tech on Magna Guard. So now I'm going to go after Watt and try to get rid of him. Yep. My Grievous goes. Now it's just a question of uh, getting, uh, um, let's see, getting some protection up and, uh, and trying to get rid of um, B2 as soon as possible. There we go. Now, hopefully this should do a big hit on B2. There we go. Excellent. Now there's no more danger. Uh, let's heal up some more. I don't know how we can delay any more. Um, we probably might end up killing the other two. Yeah, there's not going to be much option. And that the uh, hmm the the grievous does hit extremely hard. So I'll have to do uh, I'll have to do some protection recovery, whatever I can. So I'm going to keep calling. Um, Hermit Yoda, so that he can uh, get healed a bit. Let's uh, stun. All right. Let's spread some buffs around. Let's keep healing. Basic. Basic. Uh, all right. Let's keep going after him. Not sure how much of uh, protection I can recover. Let's give this to, maybe Basti needs to recover some more. Uh, let's go after uh, Grievous. All right, let's spread some buffs around. Let's just finish him off. Might end up with 58 or something like that. 58, yep, that was it. Okay, that's a fine enough outcome. Um, let's go ahead and the next toughest team I think is going to be the Geo Squad. Um, these two shouldn't be a problem. Um, the Geo Squad is, um, it's got a lot of good relics, uh, probably in some a couple of them in the wrong places, but I think uh, the Geo Squad will be a good next team to take. Um, if we can get this to come. And what I'm going to do for the Geo Squad is I'm going to try my uh, Han Stormtrooper Han survivable team. So that's basically the the Stormtrooper Han counter that I have to uh, to gas. I'm going to use that um, because the Geos don't have any AOE attacks, well, except for Brood, but um, um, all of them are single target attacks, which Stormtrooper Han does great against, especially a relic one with the the tech from Watt and the protection recovery from Vando. So I think uh, this one should allow me to end with full health and full protection against the Geos. But uh, let's see if uh, if that's the case. The one difference is with what I have to put the taunting tech on, uh, on Han right away. First, let me just stun this guy, put the taunting tech on Stormtrooper Han, and then the weapons tech on this Han. And now we can start uh, working on these guys. Look at that. Barely any uh, protection loss. Okay, I'm going to keep giving this back to him. Yep, this is definitely a good squad. I'm going to give this to uh, Vandor so that the buff remains on him constantly. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is amazing to see. Barely any health loss at all. <laughs> all right. Let's give some protection up to everyone. Let's get rid of Spy, get rid of Poggle. 
These guys are barely touched. This is amazing. All right. This was easy enough. Okay, 60 banners there against the Geos. So if you don't see a gas and you happen to have this team, Stormtrooper Han lead can, uh, can Stormtrooper Han in general with Watt is an amazing combo. I could have used the same thing with CLS lead and I would have probably ended up at 60 banners as well. Stormtrooper Han lead with the Vandor in there as well, just affords the op opportunity to recover even more protection. Let's leave that bounty hunter team for the last. Um, I want to take in, um, Newt against Newt and these guys. I want to take in my EP team with uh, these guys. Scion, Nihilus. Mm, yep, plenty of protection recovery over here. Let's go ahead and and use this battle. First thing I want to do is pass the turn meter over to Basti and then fear everyone. And then I want to want to fracture Droidica. And let's see, let's drain everyone's cooldown. Get some stuns out. And shock everyone. All right, then I want to do this and get some ability block, land a shock on this guy, pass it back to Basti. Uh, let's see if we can't get rid of Droidica, excellent. Uh, recover some protection on Scion over here. Reduce cooldowns so that uh, extortion doesn't go out. And I'm going to fracture maybe Django Fett. Let's sphere everyone again. Okay, let's land some more stuns. Excellent, I love this counter. It uh, barely gives the enemy any turn. Okay, shock and that kills them. Now we can just uh, wait to recover some protection and uh, on the characters and then just get uh, annihilate ready on them. Uh, let's annihilate, uh, well either way it doesn't make a difference because the second one also is probably going to be an annihilate since we have uh, since we have damage immunity. Alright, so 60 banners over here as well. I probably could have gone in undersized but, um, but that's fine. Okay, let's pass this back over there. So let's use some basics. I think he might be coming out of damage in immunity after this turn. And the reason I left uh, this guy and annihilated Nest is because Nest has counter chance. So that would have uh, that would have meant I could have lost some banners. So sixty banners, not too bad. Um, and then we have uh, the first order team with Hux lead with dominance. Let's see what dominance does. Um, can't be dispelled or prevented. Enemies can't counter attack, and first order allies have hundred percent counter chance. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a first order mirror over here and stun both him and crew right off the bat and uh, and yeah and uh, and just control the battle that uh, I think should do the job so this is the standard first order team that I have I should go first and stun crew and now I'm going to pass this back to crew and stun this guy let's give everyone some turn meter well, turn meter doesn't happen because uh, the enemy uh, the enemy Hux has got advantage. Okay, so let's just try to get rid of uh, Hux then. Let's keep the taunt on crew. 
and nobody has dominance which is why my characters are counter attacking now dominance is gone and I got rid of Hux all right now we can uh, now we can uh, breathe easy because our Hux is going to prevent that turn meet again and uh, um, and my characters should be able to gain turn meter and do a decent job okay so let me see if I can't uh, dispel this okay let's try to gain some turn meter okay we got rid of that now let's uh, get rid of first order officer I want to get my crew out of stun and uh, start trying to attack with him as soon as I can let's see how banner recovery is going to be over here because um, let's go pass this back to crew and let's stun one more there we go excellent Yep, I think I should be able to stall on a crew at the end over there. Yes, this is the kind of control I was talking about. Let's try to get rid of this guy. All relic characters, so they they um, are tanky, quite tanky to take down. Let's pass this back to him. Okay, finally got rid of him. Uh, let's stun this guy. Work on, let's work on him, Kylo Ren. Hmm. Don't know if I'll be able to recover full banners, but probably I'll be able to recover maybe on uh, let's see let's start try to stun him again maybe on first order stormtrooper i might be able to recover a little bit but probably not much i probably might just end with 58 okay all right so 58 banners couldn't delay much on the on the end over there now we just have one team left to take out which is the Bosk team and I think uh, I'm gonna just uh, use my I've got plenty plenty left over here I'll probably just use my my Padme team with Kenobi Anakin and just get rid of this guy I've got uh, Treya I've got my Kira team with the mission and Zalbar I've got my CLS and Wampa and Shakti as well plenty that I didn't use I hate leaving a uh, you know offense uh, just like that but but I think these guys should uh, should do the job fine at least I'll get another undersized battle okay let me actually just uh, let's uh, let's give some uh, protection up to everyone and there we go. All that uh, retribution is doing its job. Let's uh, get rid of this guy. And let's get rid of this guy once. Not yet. Lost a little protection. Let's see if we can't stun him. Mm, lost protection again. Okay. No way to recover protection over here. Um, that's fine. Probably will get about 59 maybe. Probably 58 or 59, 59, yeah. Okay, closing up to 60. Now let's see what fleet he has at the back. And then we can uh, call this a wrap. He has an Akbar, okay, with 
with Houndstooth and uh, I think Biggs in there. Okay, so he's kept his malevolence for offense against my my General Kenobi as expected. So let's go ahead and finish the fleet battle and then I think we should be done. And we'll see how many points we've kept on the board. All right, um, I'm gonna use my, my own uh, uh, fleet, my own rebel fleet. Let's see, got these guys and then, oh wait, before I do that, I think I'll go and claim my undersized because I think I can potentially do an undersized in a fleet as well. Um, yeah, I think I should be able to do that in fleet as well. Okay, let's uh, go in there. Rebel. Oops, what am I doing? I need my Biston, I need Biggs, and I need these two. And who else do I need? Um, I don't have anyone for protection recovery, but uh, I need someone who hits hard. What, I think I'll go in with the this one, another Dispel, which should be useful against a Millennium Falcon. Okay, let's, uh, let's do this. It's been a while since I've done a mirror on this one. Uh, what do I do here? Do I do a basic? I don't remember. Now let's just get uh, defense penetration up even though Houndstooth is going to taunt. I think we just get rid of Houndstooth as soon as possible. Okay, a little bit away and there we go. Houndstooth is gone, now we just get rid of Biggs. That's the, that's what I was expecting. Let's get our own ghost ship in there. Or is it Phantom? I forgot which one it is. Hmm, that's not good. Okay, at least we're down to that. Now let's go and get our own Cassian and now we should be able to do a target attack and get rid of uh, these guys. Okay, so lost a couple of ships, so ended up at 60 but I think I should be more than about 1930, if I'm not mistaken. That should be my score. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get more in ships, but I think this is a good enough score. We got close to 60 in each and every battle, which is the important thing. And uh, it should be close to 1930, I think, once we get this, uh, this screen to load again. So that should put my opponent under decent pressure when they go and uh, go for their own attack. All right, still waiting, there we go, 1928, okay, close enough. Uh, I think 1933 is how much you'll get if you do go 60 in each and every battle, including the ship battle. So I think I lost about five banners, uh, less than a full 60. So um, I, think, uh, I think I've got this uh, in the bag. My opponent uh, would need to get an average of 60 almost in every single battle which is going to be tough against teams like Gas and Sisters and, uh, and Darth Revan. So I think I've got this uh, in the bag, but I'll give you guys an update uh, shortly. Catch you guys soon. Okay, looks like my opponent has had a chance to go. So let's take a look at uh, how they've done. So they did manage to uh, clear my board. Not only did they clear it, they one-shot all my teams, which is pretty impressive. Because I did set a reasonably tough defense and I think they kept a reasonably uh, okay offense by themselves. Um, so they did one shot everything including my uh, General Grievous Negotiator with their malevolence. But they only ended up making 1897. So I won by about uh, 30 banners. So it was, uh, it was an efficiency game. I think the teams that I had did manage to strip tons of banners. And uh, it was about uh, 30... 
30 odd uh, banners more than my opponent which is i think he got an average of 55 to 56 per match um and i got an average of 59 to 60 so that's the end result so won this match as well and uh, won the uh, the other two so overall it was a uh, quite a satisfying week because i had uh, I cleared my opponents with an average of 19.25 or so in for all the three matches. And in two of the cases, I, my opponents couldn't clear me. Third one, they did clear me, but uh, I won on efficiency. So good outcome for this week. Now, the next week, looking forward to next week, I'm currently at uh, 9,764 points. Um, and with this win, I'll be getting 1,600 points, which means that I'll, I'm going to be at 11,000 three hundred and uh, eleven thousand seven hundred and sixty four or eleven thousand three hundred and sixty four which means that I'll be uh, I'll just get bumped up into chromium which means uh, um, it's going to be a super division basically so there are going to be a few hundred people who are going to be more than eleven thousand two hundred and fifty points in the next week and all of us are going to be bunched under chromium so it's going to be a uh, it's, it's going to be a really interesting week because we'll be playing the cream of the cream the guys who are really really strong and who have completed all their feats and who won all their matches with really good efficiency and who've uh, been bumped into chromium all the guys in bronzium will get to face each other next week and all the guys in chromium the few hundred people we'll uh, we'll get to see each other so it's going to be an interesting week i'm looking forward to some good matches so be sure to join me then in a in a few days three four days when we uh, we get to the first match of the second week all right until then i will see you guys later thanks for joining in